All right, so welcome back here, everybody. And in our last lesson before we um, begin the process of doing all of our facial stuff, we're ready to go ahead here and connect all of our attributes that are in our channel box here to the actual controls that are going to be driven for our pedals. So um, there's really no real, you know, com complexity here to, to go ahead and do these. Um, you can either do them through the set driven key window or you can go ahead and do them through um, what is the connection editor I think that <clears throat> it's personally going to be much simpler to go ahead and do this through um, you know maybe a mix of both so let's go ahead and select our CC flower head main here come up here to window general editors our connection editor and let me just go ahead and bring this over here Okay, and we'll just simply reload this in the left. Okay, and I want to go ahead and do our front pedal stretch first. Um, you can always work from the top down, but I want to go ahead and set up the the actual controls that um, they're going to control the stretch first, just so I I make sure that I go ahead and get those done first. So we'll come down here and just turn off our pedals back main group. Okay, and we just simply need to to go ahead and basically select all of the the actual stretch controls here and let me go ahead and just move my connection editor off the screen there um, real quick just so that I can go ahead and select these real quick and I'm just selecting each and every single individual um, stretch control IK that's actually on our front pedals here and just making sure that I don't select any of the back ones because I'll do those next okay so let's just go ahead and select them all and just making sure that yeah it looks like we have them all selected here okay and just double checking and yeah that looks right so okay now what we want to go ahead and do is just simply load those all into the right and you want to connect the front pedal stretch to the the stretch control but since we have so many of them this can take an um, an exorbitant amount of time to go ahead and set all that up and there's actually an easier way um, in a mail script for us to go ahead and do that so let me just go ahead and close that and I'm gonna launch the ad, um, the AB connect adder script from super crumbly who is an absolutely fabulous coder okay so with all those selected I'll just select the stretch in the channel box reload that as the connected object okay select our CC flower head main okay use our front pedal stretch here go ahead and select the driver attribute and we'll go ahead and connect that and that simply makes all the connection for us here so you can see where this is going to be no stretch and if I go ahead and select the master control there you can see where there's no stretch on those okay but if I go ahead and reselect that and turn that stretchy now you're going to see where we actually have a stretch control. Okay, so we're going to basically do the same thing here for the back now as well. Um, and I did, you know, rename these attributes a little bit differently. Um, basically, they're still the same. It's just they're just going to be a little bit different here um, in this video than it was in the last video. Okay, so now what we want to go ahead and do here is do all of our back ones. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and move this off the screen here. And I'll be including that AB um, connect adder script in with the script folder. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select all these IKs here for the back pedals. Oops, selected the pedal there, and I didn't necessarily want to select the pedal there. And I also didn't want to select the control curve there. And you can see where this just takes a little bit of patience to go ahead and get all these basically selected correctly. And, and this is all, you know, pretty much straightforward in terms of the actual um, rigging that I'm doing here. There's nothing that's necessarily that um, complicated. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select that stretch again. Load that as the connected object grab our CC head flower main go ahead and select our back 
pedal struts. Go ahead and load that as the connection and go ahead and connect those attributes. Okay, so now you'll see where we don't have a stretch. And if I go ahead and turn that to stretchy, you can see where we have that stretchy control now. Okay. Alright, so that's for that. And now comes the somewhat um, time consuming part is <coughs> if we go ahead and actually look at our channel box here you can see that we have an individual master control and a connected control now what that means is each one of these pedals not only is going to have the ability to go ahead and move um, all together but I want to have the ability to go ahead and move those individually and I did that for a reason um, and, and that's so that if an animator actually wants the control to go ahead and basically be able to pull off one of these and animate it by himself that's what we want to go ahead and do and that's why I have the basically the rig set up the way that that this is here so all we really need to go ahead and do is just simply add a um, visibility connection okay so we can just simply select our um, CC flower head main here just come up here to window uh, connection editor we'll simply just load that in the left okay and we will go ahead and do this basically one by one here select our tip main global go ahead and load that in the the right side okay so we'll go ahead and connect the front pedals tip to the visibility control so now you can see where the individual control is here or connected and you can see that that's going to basically turn that back on okay so we'll just call that the the individual master and we're just going to leave it stay like that so now we'll go ahead and select the the second one in here do the front pedals mid to the individual control or the visibility control there do the same thing here for the front um, pedals base and you can see that they all get will will get turned off here and we also want to go ahead here and turn around and do the back okay so we'll go ahead and reload that in the right so the tips the back pedal tips to the visibility select the second one in here and we'll go ahead and do that for the mid and make sure just make sure that I go ahead and reload in the right there connect that to the visibility do the other one here and we will go ahead and reload the right here take the back pedal base the visibility and there you go you can see where all those connections are now um, off but it also has to work in the other direction so since we have these individual controls turned on and now it's going to be a, an individual rig we also want to have the ability to go ahead and turn off um, all these individual controls so to do that it's basically going to be the same process but I'm going to do that through the set driven keyframe just to give you guys a um, sort of run through of go ahead and actually doing that so we'll just go ahead and select our CC flower head main here come up to animate set driven key set and we will load that as our driver object okay and we just need to simply select one here hit up to select the entire group load those as the driven okay front pedals tip and I just want to make sure that we have our individual control here okay so I'll go ahead and turn the visibility here to one which is it's gonna stay that way okay so now I'll go back to our flower head main here turn this to the connected master come back here to our CC pedals tip main group go ahead and set that as zero and we'll go ahead and key that so now you can see where if we select this or select the flower head main here it's gonna switch as you can see there okay so we're basically gonna repeat the same process for the rest of these okay so again let's just go ahead and turn our um, 
and we'll just leave that as our uh, is connected here and we want to just go ahead and key it for the middle here okay and we're gonna go ahead and select the mid ones load those as the driver or as, I'm sorry as the driven the visibility here just making sure that this is gonna be the individual control again okay we'll go ahead and key that okay come over here to our fl CC flower head main turn it to connected turn these mid globals here to off we'll go ahead and key that okay select this third inner group here load those as the driver driven the visibility the pedal base this is the individual control and just making sure that we have the um, individual control set up and on we can go ahead and key that okay take our flower head main change our base here to connected and you can see that that comes back so we just need to go ahead and turn our group here off okay go ahead and key that so now you can see where there it's much simpler in terms of the actual um, CC curves that are in our scene okay so now we just need to go ahead and do our back here so we'll just go ahead and select this just making sure that that's in here go ahead and grab our tips there for our back pedal select one hit up to select that entire group go ahead and load those as the driven we'll go ahead and key that come down here and set this as connected turn our visibility control here off go ahead and key that select our second group load those as the driven the visibility the mid we'll go ahead and key that come down here and change the individual to the connected change our visibility to the zero here go ahead and key that okay and just need to go ahead and select these last ones load those as the driven <coughs> our back pedal base our visibility we will go ahead and key that come down here to the connected change our visibility here to zero <coughs> go ahead and key that and so now you can see where we have um, definitely a lot more control here and it's a, um, a lot cleaner in terms of the actual setup so we just want to go ahead and make sure that all those work so just select them all turn them to the individual master and we actually have to do that individually okay and they all turn back on so um, that's pretty much how you got, would go ahead and set up all those individual controls there um, as well as the master so if, you know if you want to go ahead and just set those back to connected you can go ahead and do that which is what I want to go ahead and do right now okay and we will go ahead now and make our um, universal rig global control okay so uh, let's just go into um, our rig controllers and I'm just going to create a, a basic rig controller here it, it doesn't have to be something super special um, it can basically be anything here so just go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees because I know that this comes up um, come into the, comes into the scene vertically so just want to go ahead and create this and I am just going to change the sweep sections here to 16 and just select every other vertice here or CV okay go ahead and scale that in and I'm going to hit control D to duplicate that so that way I have like a a dual system here open up our wizard controllers and I'm just going to hit the combine shapes so that it basically combines those shapes okay 
freeze the transformation center of the pivots and, and clear the history on this and I definitely want to add another attribute here to this and this is going to be our smooth global controller okay so we'll call this uh, animation which is going to be the low level for us we'll call this the rendering which is going to sort of be a, a mid-level one and third one I, I tend to like uh, to add at least a little bit of comedy inside every rig so um, you can basically type in what you want here I'm just going to type in holy your computer okay um, that's probably not a real great thing to do if you're working in production but I, I tend to do that because I'm more or less just a comedian so we'll go ahead and select this call this the CC flower global master okay just making sure that I have everything off there okay so now what we need to go ahead and do is basically put everything underneath this so that this rig is going to move and scale correctly and the key here is let me just go ahead and change the color on this um, you can use anything you want I'll just simply go ahead and use yellow and we just need to go ahead and select the oh, the tongue global here um, can probably just go ahead and leave that the way it is because I'll just go ahead and, and parent that to the face after we go ahead and rig um, the face in the next lesson or in the next part of this tutorial so we will just go ahead and select each one of these shift select the master control hit P to parent so now it rotates moves and scales and that's done without the actual parent and scale constraints which is typically what you want um, and just a little overview here of the actual smooth global controller as you see I did not add a smooth node to the actual geometry here yet and that's because I want to go ahead and rig the face before I'm able to actually go ahead and connect all of those so if you wanted to you can basically go ahead and clean up your rig now um, for the most part I think we're we're pretty much done in terms of the the actual rigging here um, but if you want to I would say you know maybe just go ahead here and select that middle pot control go ahead and lock the selected so that you only have the the actual rotation of that um, same thing for you know the bottom pot control um, cross just go ahead and lock and the translates because you really only only are going to need the the actual um, <coughs> rotates and not the translates for the master part control um, I would say just basically keep everything there <coughs> and I think that's it for us in uh, terms of the actual body rigging in part three we'll come back and we will go ahead and do the the facial rigging system for the flower so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed part two here and come on back and uh, watch part three I'm sure you'll enjoy it